Good morning, everyone. This is Miss J. Today is Monday, April 13th. I hope you all had a great weekend. We are on week five of distance learning. Can we believe it? I know. Well, we're going to jump into math today. This is our last lesson of unit four. And then tomorrow, we're going to start unit five. So let's finish this unit off strong. Before we get started, make sure that you have scratch paper, a writing utensil, and you should also have your math notes if you have them. Another resource that could help you is if you pull up the shape hierarchy from last week's folder. Now we're not going to jump into our problem solving task just yet. First, I'd like us to go over some definitions of vocabulary that we've learned throughout this unit. After each word, I'm going to ask you to think of the definition. Now, this is a great time to be practicing these vocab words and definitions because these are definitions and words that you should be memorizing in your brain. So take this time to really internalize everything that we're going over. Our first vocab word is category. What is the definition of category? That's right, a class of items that have shared attributes, for example, polygons and non-polygons. Subcategory. What is the definition of subcategory? You guessed it, a class of items that are contained within a category. For example, triangles and quadrilaterals. Attribute. What is the definition of attribute? Exactly, any characteristic of a category. For example, the color, the shape, or the size. Defining attribute. What is a defining attribute? Yep, it's the characteristic that defines a category. For example, for, poly for polygons, it has closed and all straight sides. So those are defining attributes of polygons. Now remember, attribute and defining attributes are two different things. So it's important to memorize the difference between the two. We have six more vocab words that we're going to go over. Next is quadrilateral. What is a quadrilateral? It is a polygon with four sides. For example, a square. Trapezoid. What is a trapezoid? That's right, a quadrilateral with at least one pair of parallel sides. What is a parallelogram? A parallelogram has exactly two pairs of parallel sides. So that could be, for example, a rectangle. Rectangle, what is a rectangle? A rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles and opposite sides are equal. Square. What are the defining attributes of a square? You guessed it, a parallelogram with four right angles and four equal sides. Last but not least, 
What is a rhombus? A, a rhombus is a parallelogram with four equal sides. Rhombi do not have to have four right angles, but they can. Not only is it super important to remember all of our vocab and their definitions, it's also super important to note that all shapes in a category share some common attributes, but not all of the same attributes. For example, quadrilaterals is a category. All the shapes in this category share some common attributes, but not all attributes. Also, each subcategory has its own defining attributes that are not shared by every other shape in the category. For example, trapezoid, parallelogram, and rectangle all have different defining attributes that are not shared with one another. So now that we've done some review, I want you to pause this video and complete your problem solving task. Once you've done that, you'll come back and then we'll go over the answers together. You're going to use the hierarchy in your notes in order to determine if the statements are true or false and to explain your reasoning. Welcome back. So let's go over our answers. Number one, all equilateral triangles are acute because all of their angles are 60 degrees. That is true. An equilateral triangle is a subcategory of triangle, and 60 degree angles are a defining attribute. In order for a triangle, to have equal angles, all the angles must be acute. Number two, some equilateral triangles are obtuse. True or false? False. We know that that's false because an obtuse angle is over 90 degrees. And we just, as we just said, equilateral triangles are acute and their angles are 60 degrees. So we know that that's false. Number three, some right triangles are equilateral. True or false? That is false. A right triangle can never be equilateral. Because if it's a right triangle, that means that one of their angles are 90 degrees. Number four, some right triangles are scalene. That is true. We know that that's true because scalene triangles can be any kind of triangle. Number five, all right triangles are isosceles. Number five, all right triangles are isosceles. That is false. That is not a defining attribute of a right angle. So all right triangles cannot be isosceles. Number six, no obtuse triangles are isosceles. The answer is false. Some obtuse triangles can be isosceles, but that is not a defining attribute. Number seven, no right triangles are equilateral. If we connect back to earlier, we said on number three that some right tri triangles are equilateral. That was false. So if that is false, number seven must be true.
All right, let's move in to our practice problems. So right now, you're going to pause the video. And do the practice problems. Once you're all done, come back to the video and then we'll go over the work together. While you're doing your practice problems, make sure that you're using your shape hierarchy notes in order to help you. Also, the notes in your math notebook can also be very helpful. Reminders to make sure that you're not rushing through the work, you're doing your very, very best. And if something is a little bit confusing, you can always go back in this video and rewind in case you feel like you've missed something. And then you can come back and try your practice problems again. See you in a few. In your practice problems, you're going to circle all the triangles that can be categorized as isosceles. Now go back and shade in all the triangles that can be categorized as right. Put a star in any isosceles right triangles. Welcome back. So at this point, you should have completed all of your practice problems so that we can go over it together. So the first part of our question asks us to circle all the triangles that can be categorized as isosceles. What is an isosceles triangle? Yep, that's correct. It is a triangle that has two equal acute angles, but the third angle can be right acute or obtuse. What triangles do you notice have two equal acute angles and the third angle is right acute or obtuse? So when looking at these triangles, remember that these lines here indicates that the angles are equal. So in this triangle, it has two equal sides. And it has an acute angle. So this would be considered an isosceles. In this triangle, this also has two equal sides, two equal angles, and it has this square inside of the triangle symbolizing that it is a right triangle. Again, with this triangle, it has two equal angles, and it has an obtuse angle. So we can go ahead and circle this one as well. Awesome. This acute triangle cannot be an isosceles triangle because it has three equal angles. An isosceles triangle has to have two equal angles, and the third angle is right obtuse or acute. In this triangle, it has a right angle, but it doesn't have two equal sides, so that cannot be categorized as an isosceles triangle. Same goes for this triangle here. It doesn't have equal sides. This triangle here can be a little tricky. To the eyes, it appears to be a right triangle. But again, that trick that we talked about, if you put a piece of paper in, 
if you try to fit a piece of paper in the right angle, does it fit? If you have a piece of paper, which you should, take your piece of paper and try to fit that piece of paper in this angle here. Did it fit? You'll notice that it's a little bit off. So this triangle cannot be considered an isosceles triangle because it doesn't have a right angle. Because it doesn't have two equal sides, and this is not a right angle. The next part of our question asks, or tells us to go back and shade in all the triangles that can be categorized as right. We can already X this one out because we know that's not a right triangle. This triangle has the symbol for a right triangle, so that's an indication that this is a right triangle. The same is the case for this triangle. It has the right angle symbol, so we know that it is a right angle. And the others, we know that there are no right angles because they are acute angles. Lastly, put a star in any isosceles right triangles. So we are looking for an isosceles triangle that has two acute sides and a right angle. So the only triangle that would fit this description is this one. It has two equal angles and it has a right triangle. So this is an isosceles right tri triangle. The secret code for today's math lesson is school. Lowercase letters, S-C-H-O-O-L. Again, the secret code is S-C-H-O-O-L, school. Can an equilateral triangle be a right triangle? Why or why not? No, an equilateral triangle cannot be a right triangle because the triangle has to have three equal sides. Which of the following must be true of an isosceles triangle? A, two angles are congruent and acute. B, all angles add up to 360 degrees. C, all of the sides must be equivalent. D, there cannot be an obtuse angle. The answer is A, two angles are congruent and acute. And congruent means that they have equal sides. And we know that an isosceles triangle has to have two equal angles. And they have to be acute. Which two statements are true? We are picking two statements. A. Scaling triangles can be categorized as right acute or acute. If I believe that should say obtuse or acute. B, isosceles triangles have all different side lengths. C, 
it is possible to have an equilateral triangle. C. Equilateral triangles cannot be obtuse triangles. E. Scaling triangles have two congruent sides. That's right. A. Scaling triangles can be categorized as right, obtuse, or acute. And D. Equilateral triangles cannot be obtuse triangles. Those two statements are true. Circle all that apply. Right triangles can be categorized as A, equilateral, B, scalene, C, isosceles. B and C are correct, scalene and isosceles. As long as the triangle has two equal acute angles, it can be considered isosceles. And we know that scalene triangles don't have to have equal angles, and they can be any type of triangle. True or false. All equilateral triangles are acute because their angles are all 60 degrees. True or false. And then we're going to prove it with a drawing. This is true. And here is an example of an acute triangle. Each angle is 60 degrees, which is a defining attribute for equilateral triangles. No, obtu ob no obtuse triangles are isosceles, true or false? That is false. This is an obtuse triangle that has equal acute angles, which categorizes this triangle as an isosceles. Some right triangles are equilateral, true or false. We know that this is false because equilateral triangles have three equal angles. This triangle does not have all equal angles. It has a right angle and then it has two acute angles. So that is false. Some right triangles are scalene. This is true because scaling triangles do not have all equal sides, and it can be any type of triangle. So we've now completed going through all of the practice problems. Our last step is to complete the exit ticket. So you're going to head over to Google Classrooms, click on the math quiz, and complete it. If you haven't heard the secret code, that means that you haven't fully paid attention to this video and gave it your full focus. Make sure that while you're watching the video, you're being super, super focused and paying attention to every detail. Have a great Monday and talk to you soon.